Well, I've always believed that work is at the core of human dignity, and it's it's how we define ourselves. And for, you know, for the last 50 years in the aid community, we've really viewed aid and development as separate from work. And we have done a lot to build infrastructure in developing countries and to provide health and education services. But if you ask the average poor person what they want out of this whole industry, they'll all tell you the same thing. They want a dignified way to earn a living. And if they had that, they would find their own ways to pay for health and education and all of the other services that we provide. I'm Lila Jana with Samasource. Samasource is a nonprofit social business that brings work to the people who need it most, to the billion people who, uh, who live on less than $1.25 a day around the world. Well, we operate just like a business, and we aim to eventually become self-sustaining uh, on earned income. And so we have a sales team and an account management team in San Francisco that acquires contracts from large companies. We break down this uh, the work they give us, which is basic data entry and other kinds of data processing currently done by large outsourcing companies. We break that work down into what we call micro work or small tasks that anyone with knowledge of, of English and, and access to the internet can do through the, through the web. So, uh, so we have a web portal that allows them to do this micro work and then we partner with local computer centers on the ground in these countries where entrepreneurs train workers to do work for us. I think our current micro work model is a little hard to execute in the U.S. And one of the things that struck me is how much opportunity there is now to find work on the internet. Um, I learned recently from eBay that over one million people globally make their primary livelihood as eBay sellers. There's another company around the corner from us in Silicon Valley called Odesk um, that will spend over $200 million paying online contractors this year. So people who do their work primarily on the internet, they do things like writing content for websites, web coding, basic graphic design, and a lot of the work doesn't involve any fancy computer skills, just involves usage of the English language. One of the fascinating things about all of these websites is that most of the growth is happening internationally. So people in rural parts of our own country are not aware of the innovation that's happening in Silicon Valley. So uh, what we're interested in doing is starting a one-day training program that could affect tens of thousands of Americans that shows people how to use these websites to find work. Americans have such a competitive advantage in the world of online work. Um, most of the buyers are here in America, so they're looking for people who are in their time zone, who speak their language both literally and figuratively, who understand the American cultural context. So if you're someone who speaks good English with a college degree, there's absolutely no reason that you can't earn money from some of these online platforms. So my advice would be to not lose hope and to go out there and sign up for as many of them as possible.